Ach, hello there. It's Jock here. I'm from Scotland for a day with Nicky and Warhammer. Well, I'll tell you something. I was reading an article there a few days ago about Scotland. There's an awful lot of talk about the referendum coming up to see about us getting the free independence all together. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. Do you can that? I'm going to put a wee list there in the description for you. For all the folk that didn't ken too much about Scottish history, I'm going to list all the names of all the gentry and the lords and the lawyers and all the rest of it that sailed Scotland out in 1707 and how much money they took off the English government for selling our country. And I tell you, and I'll tell you what's worth still and you'll not believe this, but well, maybe you will. Since 1975, Scotland has been getting sold off bit by bit. You know that? Half of Scotland is now owned by just about 500 people. Well, that was in 206, you know, it's probably a lot more now. And few of them are, I bet there's no many of them are actually Scots folk. You know? Britain's great and land-owning aristocratic families are all declining. They're all selling up and moving off to foreign countries. So they can just relax where they are, like, you know, after hundreds of years that the Scots have put them where they were. You could say that Scotland and the Highlands, especially the Highlands and the Islands, has became Europe's last great wilderness and it's selling a war there. So, it really gets me annoyed that. Well, I'm a war now and I'll say to you to you and take care of yourselves and take care of your bairns and your animals and bring your soldiers home for Afghanistan. There's no need of there there. Let them look after their own cocaine field. Toodaloo.